Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live here on SABC2. Now, Gauteng is the economic and industrial hub of South Africa and the African continent. Despite being the smallest province in terms of size, it contributes 35% to the national output and 33% to national employment and have a lion's share of 42% to national industrial output. The Gauteng provincial government will from today until tomorrow host the Gauteng Economic Indaba. The purpose of the Indaba is to, amongst others, to provide a platform to stakeholders to discuss and input on economic interventions that are proposed in the draft Gauteng City Region Economic Development Framework. We're joined in studio by Gauteng Economic Development MEC, Lebohang Maida MEC, Rawamwela Morning Live. Good morning to you. Thank you very much and uh, good morning to the viewers at home. Now, the purpose of the INDAB, amongst others, is to provide a platform to stakeholders to actually discuss uh, the economic interventions. What kind of economic interventions are you looking at? Maybe I should start, uh, and I think it's appropriate on behalf of the provincial government to convey our condo condolences to the late uh, uh, Stephen Keshi, as we have had. Uh, we all know the role that he has played in the football of the continent, and I think it's uh, befitting that on, provincial, uh, on behalf of the provincial government, we convey our uh, condolences to the family, the soccer loving people of Nigeria and of Africa. Uh, he was an inspiration, and uh, we know that uh, he's joining a galaxy of stars wherever he's going, and uh, we, um, <coughs> we are saddened by his death. Okay. Well, uh, as you know that the economy is uh, not doing well globally in the country and uh, because we are a, um, a hub, an economic hub of the uh, country, it becomes important that <coughs> we reflect on how best can we intervene systematically uh, to problems that uh, our economy uh, is facing and that is why we thought we should uh, rather have a plan which is a culmination of a broad consultation with various uh, stakeholders since we came into office and we have uh, carefully thought about the sectors and the industries that we would want to intervene in and hence we have decided that we will in the main focus in two broad sectors, uh, manufacturing and uh, services. Uh, the, 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 these two broad sectors have got um, what we call subsectors or different industries that will be given um, a specific attention. But over and above that, we are looking at uh, what we call the enablers. What is it that we need to uh, stimulate our economy? Uh, infrastructure is one of the issues. Skills development is the other. We're also looking at the uh, export promotion. We're looking at the... <coughs> uh, uh, government uh, spent um, on the, a whole range of, mm. of, of things. How do we use it to um, stimulate and propel the economy? And we're also looking at the, the approach of clustering uh, different uh, businesses and the corridor development uh, <coughs> uh, um, uh, approach in our province. Okay, now besides these well-established businesses, we know that the issue of uh, township businesses is very close to your heart. Are they also part of the INDAP? Yes, certainly. As one of the inter key interventions in the strategy, um, the integration of township economies into the mainstream economy is one of the focus areas. And certainly they are invited because they are very important uh, part and stakeholders of uh, the Gauteng economy. The township economy is uh, it's estimated to be worth about uh, 100 billion rents in Gauteng. So it's a sizable uh, uh, economy and you can't um, ignore it. Mm, so it is indeed contributing towards the economy of the province. Exactly. But then the, your department has actually embarked on a process of developing what you call a Gauteng city region economic plan. What exactly does the plan entail? Well, the plan entails some of these things that I've spoken about uh, uh, to look at the different corridors of our, what we call corridors, uh, you know them as regions, corridors of development, uh, Tswani, Johannesburg, Eguruleni, what is it that they must uh, focus on? Because each of these uh, corridors have got their own distinct um, uh, strengths and we want them to consolidate on those strengths and to also look at uh, other new modes of uh, economic development in those areas 
We're looking at uh, <clears throat> what is the competitive advantage we have. Uh, we know our province is um, strategically positioned because we've got a high concentration of tertiary institutions, research institutions. Um, <clears throat> we've got one of the biggest and big airports in the country and also we're looking at the whole range of uh, uh, interventions and, 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 and issues. Okay, no, that's where we're going to leave it this morning. But the, uh, the Indaba is today. The Indaba is today and tomorrow in here in Gauteng in Udmit. Okay, no, thank you very much. We'll hear about the resolutions taken at the Indaba at the later stage. That's the Gauteng Economic Development MEC, Labuham Maile, talking to us about the economic development Indaba taking place here in Gauteng today. Well, it's exciting.